This time of the year, many young people put on caps and gowns, receiving diplomas for their academic achievements, but not all paths to graduation are the same. Our reporter Ryan Laughlin shares one woman's story, which proves that. You put the pen light in there and it will constrict. Melinda Mund is learning how to care for patients. In this place, nobody dies. I mean, that, that's the wonderful thing about this is you, we can do it over and over and over again until we get it right. Her path, different from her peers. You know, I bet you're the only student nurse there that's on Social Security. I, I looked at him and, I, and in my mind I'm thinking, yeah, and on Medicare too. <laughs> I was like, okay. At 68 years old, and after two years of studying at Lake Region State College, Melinda is here. But this isn't the first time she's walked across the stage with her classmates. And I could be the mother to all of them and a grandmother to quite a few of them. The last time Melinda graduated was in 1967. Back then you had almost three choices. You could be a secretary, a teacher, or a nurse. Well, I was not good at typing, and I was scared to stand in front of people. So she became an LPN, a licensed practical nurse. When I started nurses training, we gave each other shots. And actually the first time I, I had to give my, my best friend a shot, I said, I'll quit before I'll do it because it was so awful. She made it through the practice shots in 1967, cared for thousands of people through the decades, and learned a lot along the way. But then she had a new thought. And I, and I just got scared. I thought, what if I die? And I have all this information in there, and nobody knows about it. I mean, it's, it's a dumb thing to say, but, but that's what I felt. She wanted to teach her colleagues some of the healing techniques she's learned, but was told she wasn't qualified, which brings her back here, 50 years later, to graduate as an RN, a registered nurse. Making this ceremony extra special, Kelsey Schlein. Her daughter, a teacher at the college, is the one who reads her name as she crosses the stage. Melinda Munn, Associate in Applied Science, Associate Degree Nurse. God puts us where we're supposed to be, you know, like, you know, way back then when I was a nurse, I thought, you know what, I don't care if I'm a nurse or not, but I'll just do it. I said, I'll never be an RN, and well, if I pass the boards, that's what's going to happen. So I say, never say never, because you never know what is going to happen. Proving it's never too late to keep learning. From Devil's Lake, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. What a great story. Melinda says the key to her success has been maintaining a positive attitude. She's looking forward to passing her board's exams, and then she'll be able to finally teach and pass along all the nursing knowledge she's learned from her 50-year career in nursing.